here's the part of our program where you can nudge the non-technical partner you brought with you this evening. Be warned though, the entries listed in this category may result in visits to architects and extensive home remodeling in the near future. The shortlisted projects are House Blue Crane was designed around a steel skeleton and boasts an aesthetically pleasing combination of natural stone, timber, glazing systems and roof cladding. Nestled among a natural clearing of trees, the Constantia Treehouse's structural system was executed in laser-cut Corten steel plate and bent to form faceted columns, branch-like arms and rings. The Afri Ski Backpackers Lodge displays an innovative use of modular building systems and shipping containers, as well as hot rolled sections and light steel frame systems. Steel made this modular unit with fully off the grid service features, light and strong enough to be picked up by a crane, mounted on a truck horse and later lifted onto foundations pre-prepared on site. Using steel in the structural framing as well as architectural features of Zimbi Lodge in Limpopo required careful planning for design, transport and installation. Create Cafe converted an existing garage building to expand facilities of a boutique hotel. Steel was used as the only structural and main aesthetic element. Midex House Zinquazi Beach is a renovation of a 1970s house with a spectacular view. Its novel use of lightweight materials in conjunction with a structural steel skeleton gives the home a modern look and feel. This project is awarded a special commendation for Steel Awards 2016. A dynamic blend of hot rolled, cold formed, light steel and metal cladding, the barn house is a case study house to compare traditional brick and mortar building methods in South Africa with alternative building methods. For pushing the boundaries of architecture and construction, this project is awarded a special commendation for Steel Awards 2016. And the winner of the Residential Architectural category is the Constantia Treehouse. This highly detailed, custom-designed residence embodies both simplicity and luxury, getting all steel components to a sloped site without direct vehicle or crane access meant using both a sleigh and then chain blocks attached to two I-beams on the top of the scaffolding. What you see around you is the product of teamwork and I think that was the most rewarding part of this project and our profession in general is where you draw on many people's expertise to, to create something new. This has been probably one of the most unusual projects I've ever been involved with. Right from the word go, one of the sort of big challenges was to make the whole structure work and be supported on such small number of columns. The column diameters are quite small and if you look around the number of columns that are actually supporting the building are very limited. The Core 10 brought some challenges. All the steel was laser cut and it doesn't laser cut as normal steel uh, laser cuts. Certainly once we started to including the, the, the folding of the columns, it became much more critical on the sizes. We haven't got the normal bracing in the whole structure, so to make sure that the whole structure didn't have a wobble in it. <laughs> which it did feel like initially before all the glass and all the elements came in. We actually used all the architectural elements as well to make sure that the structure was eventually stable enough and now it seems to be fine. <laughs>